Hi, this is Kevin Bowersox, creator of the blog Two Thought. In today's tutorial, we are going to examine how to create a many-to-many -many relationship in JPA. Uh, we will also make this relationship bidirectional. The relationship we will create is going to be a many-to-many -many relationship between a post and a tag. You can see an example of this on my blog. Um, each post has tags and each post can have many tags and each tag can have many posts. For example, you can see there's a JPA tag on this post and a JPA tag on this post as well as each post having multiple tags. This tutorial will build upon the source code used in the JPA mapping a one-to-many relationship post. Uh, you can download this source if you'd like to follow along by clicking the GitHub icon. So let's begin. To start, we will head into Spring Source Tool Suite, and within our Entities package, we will create a new class. Uh, that class will be called Tag. And within tag, we will create a few fields. The first one being the tag ID. The second one being a name, uh, which is a string, and that'll be a name for the tag. And then we will, ent well, we will annotate the entity. We will add the table annotation. Oops. We'll import those annotations. We'll specify an ID. We will assign it as a generated value and give it a strategy of identity. And we'll set the name of the column to tag ID and then we'll set the column name for the name field. We'll import the column annotation. We'll generate our getters and setters. Okay, and at this point we have successfully created our tag entity and annotated it. Now we will create our repository for the tag entity. Uh, remember when using Spring Data that needs to be an interface. And that interface must extend JPA repository. So we specify the type and the type of the key. And we'll import tag into that interface. Now we will create a unit test for the tag repository. Give it a name of tag repository test. And I'm going to hop in and copy my configuration from a previous test. Uh, this points to our spring config, uh, which will provide us with all the setup that we've done in a previous post. And now we'll make a simple insert test. Before we do that though, we will add our tag repository and we'll auto wire that. Have to import the, that annotation and that class. And now we'll simply create a new tag, assign it a name, and we can save that. And now we'll pull that tag from the database. By its ID. We'll 
import the JUnit static method we need. And I'll send this to a local variable. I'm actually going to call that tag name to be a little bit more specific. And now we'll just make sure that our tag has the appropriate name. Okay, let's try our test. And we can successfully insert a tag. So it seems like we have our repository set up correctly for the most part. Now we can begin to set up the relationship between a tag and a post. And we're going to start with a one directional relationship. So I'm going to enter post. And we will give it a list of tags. And we will add the many to many annotation. And now we need to add a new annotation. We haven't been introduced to the join table annotation. This one's a little bit more complex than the others. Um, the first element we'll set on this annotation is the name of the uh, junction table that we will create uh, to map tags and posts. And we're just going to call that post tag. Uh, it's going to be a simple table. It's basically going to have a post ID and a tag ID, and that's how they're going to be related. Um, next, we need to specify uh, the join columns annotation. And it takes an array. Um, and then within that array, we put a join column annotation. And we need to set the name of the column and the first column's name will be tag ID and we are defining the post as the owning side of the entity because we're adding the join table annotation there so now we define the inverse side once again it takes an array and let's see if I can format that oh, not what we wanted and within the inverse join columns, we add another join column annotation. And we set the name element on this join column. And I'm sorry, I have these backwards. Uh, the post ID will be specified first. And then in the inverse join column, we specify the tag ID. At this point, we should uh, have our post class successfully annotated. Uh, we will test that in a minute. Uh, we may revisit it. If you've watched my tutorials, you'll know. Usually we're correcting an error somewhere. <laughs> so let's test it out. We'll go to the post repository test. And the first thing I'm going to do is create two strings, uh, tag name, And we'll have the other one be spring. And now we're going to make two tags. And then we're going to set the name of these tags. Okay. And now we're going to, oh, one thing I forgot. I never generated any accessors uh, for the tags uh, within post, for the tags field within post. So we need to be able to access that list. So we'll just create those uh, getters and setters. Save that. We'll head back to the post repository test. 
get the tags. We'll add tag one. Get the tags. And we'll add tag two. And now in our certs, let's make sure we have the appropriate tags. Whoops, so we'll get a list of tags. Whoops, that's all lowercase. We'll assert that the tags have more than one element because we put two in. And we'll make sure that the list of tags contains tag one and tag two. So we'll save that. So let's just review real quickly. Uh, we have these tag names. We use those to create two new tags with the respective names. We add them to the post and then we pull the post from the database and then we check that we at least have more than two tags and that our two tags we created have been persisted and saved. So we ac will execute this test everything passes there. So we've successfully set up the uh, unidirectional relationship, uh, the one-way relationship. A post can pull its tags which have been persisted. Next we will look at creating a bidirectional many-to-many -many relationship. So to establish this relationship uh, we'll need to look at tag and within tag we will create a list of posts and this time well, we'll import the list, an array list this time I will not forget to create my accessors so with those set now we can annotate with many to many and we need to We'll import that and we need to set the mapped by attribute so that's pointing at the posts field on I'm sorry the tags field on the post object so in this case uh, post is our owning side of the entity uh, when establishing a many-to-many -many relationship um, it doesn't matter what side you set the owning side up as, um, as long as you have one. Okay, now that our relationship is bidirectional, let's head to the tag repository test to confirm that it actually is. So with this, we will create two new posts. We'll import the post class. And now we'll set a few fields on post. Set the post date. We'll set the title. and we'll import the date class and now we will grab the posts from our tags we will add post 1 and grab the post from the tags whoops again and we'll add post 2 and now in our certs we're basically going to do the same thing we did in the last class just in reverse so we're going to create a list of posts and 
we're going to pull that from tag import list and we'll assert that there is more than one and we will assert that our list of posts contains the first post and the second post pull in these imports from JUnit so just a review uh, we create two posts we set some of their fields we add them to our list of posts within the tag uh, we save them we commit them to a, the repository and then we pull the tag from the database we grab the posts from the tag and then we make sure it contains uh, the two tags or the two posts I'm sorry so we'll save that we'll try our test okay they passed so we successfully established a many-to-many -many relationship uh, between a post and a tag we made that relationship bi-directional um, so that wraps up this tutorial I hope you'll join me for the next one so until we meet again